What is up guys, me like here and today we are back in action playing some Feed the Beast Departed and it's going to be freaking amazing if you guys enjoy the video at any point make sure to go and click the like button, I'd really appreciate it and it'd help me out tremendously and it'd be freaking amazing uh, So, last time we made the portal room, we fought Corallus and we did a bunch of cool stuff Today we are going to continue with the boss fighting trend. I really like fighting bosses, it's pretty cool. Uh, we are going to fight Ga the Gaia Spear, that way we can make a few items and also uh, get prepared for the Gaia Spear at level 2 so we can get some dice of fate and that kind of stuff. So, to fight the Gaia Spear, we need a beacon uh, and to be able to make this little guy have everything else we need except for the beacon. To get, get a beacon, obviously, you need to kill a wither. So, on the quest to kill a wither, uh, let's go ahead. I went ahead and uh, went to the Procasia, got some skeletal ingots. So, we got skeletal ingots. So, I'm going to go ahead and make the sword blade out of skeletal here. And then we're going to make everything else out of jade after this guy fully makes. And, uh,. We're going to, as everyone knows, cleavers have the, has the ability to behead, so this is really going to help us when fighting withers, because we don't want to fight withers for like 16 hours and only get three skulls. We want to be able to kill withers like six of them and get three skulls. So, I'm going to go ahead and get everything we need. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and make everything else out of jade just because we don't have enough skeletal stuff. But this guy is going to do a lot of damage and he's going to be freaking amazing. So, let me get a second one of these and we should be good. Yeah, we got the large blade, we got the sword blade, wait, this, okay, mining speed 11, that's pretty cool. And we got two of these, so let's go ahead and make this guy. Let's see, uh, we want this, and we want to go ahead and uh, do all of these guys, and boom, we got a cleaver. Now, the cleaver does 33 attack damage, so it's really, really good. Actually, I want to see something, let's see, um, skeletal, let's see. Skeletal Cleaver. I just want to see what this does. This says 44, so I'm not sure why this does less. Maybe it's because we need to make the, the other parts out of Skeletal, but I mean, it does a lot anyway, so we can worry about that later. So let's just go ahead and I want to stick some beheading on this. So right now it has one modifier. We want to add a second modifier, so it has two. And then we want to go ahead and put this on here. So now it has a chance to behead 30%. And it's about to have 40%. So this is pretty good. As we get more modifiers and le level this guy up, this will kind of like be our beheading uh, uh, beheading sword. And it'll be freaking amazing. So let me go ahead and stick all this here. Oh, also, I upgraded this to S. So we only have one more tier to go and only a 1,000 mana pulls to go. So, <laughs> yeah, that's going to take a while. Um, also, I've been enchanting and st uh, some more stuff, and I have some more books, but uh, nothing, like, we're not even close to getting the ones we need. I think I got Protection 3, so we do have uh, two Protection 3, so we can go ahead and combine this guy to make Protection 4. There we go. So we have one Protection 4, and that's a good start. Now we just need the other armor books and uh, that kind of stuff. Also, I need another Sharpness, and I need another, let's see, uh, efficiency. Actually, I need a lot more efficiency because I want to get efficiency 5 and chant this kind of stuff to efficiency. 5 also I want to make something called the uh, we do have a lumber axe but I think I'd rather have this guy the Terra trun truncator um, it does exactly the same thing as a lumber axe except for this guy will never actually die just because our mana will completely uh, refill it um, anyways I, I think I'm gonna head oh ow I'm gonna head to the nether and I'm gonna fight some withers and I will see you guys there in a second of course I have to go to a thing uh, so yeah it might take me a little bit okay we're back so I just spent like an hour and a half at another fortress and I killed a total of like five wither skeletons and it didn't work out so well I didn't get a single head I did get a necrotic bone and I got a bunch of quartz and glowstone just from going around the nether and doing that kind of stuff but it wasn't very efficient so I figured uh, let's get a skeleton spawner. So I have a bunch of skeleton. I have four skeleton spawners, and the way I got these is there's these things, uh, these things called, or the, I don't know what they're called, but they're, they're giant hay statues that spawn in the overworld. I'm sure you guys have seen them before in other mod packs and this one and that kind of stuff. Well, I decided I knew skeleton spawners spawned underneath of those, so I went around. And I found as many as I could. I found four. I thought four was plenty. So as you guys know, according to uh, I guess vanilla mechanics. Skeletons, if you put a skeleton spawner um, in on like nether brick in the nether, then uh, the, it's a big chance it'll actually spawn a wither. So let's just go ahead and do this. That's what I want to do. Uh, so I, I grabbed some redstone and then I grabbed some fans. So I wanted to do something like this. I just want to do a little bit of uh, a little bit of fan action to blow them towards me and then we can do all kinds of cool stuff like that. 
and eh, and then eh, there we go. Uh, and then I don't know why this one, <laughs> I don't know what's with the weird block updates uh, with this right here. But uh, anyways, yeah, the, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up this little spawner here. And then I guess we're going to uh, kill a bunch of skeletons until I get all the wither heads that I need. And then if we ever need wither heads in the future, um, I can just uh, do that kind of stuff. Now, I'm not sure if they need to spawn, like, if I can just stick this, like, right here in the center. Uh, there, is that the center? Yeah, that, that's the center. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna stick these guys on top of here, and then we'll ah ah ah. Okay, okay. Let's uh yeah, that seems to work out really well. That seems to work really well. Let's uh let's close this off. I'm gonna kill some withers, and I guess I'll be right back. <laughs> Whoa! Oh dang it! I put a blaze spawner there. Ah uh, ah. Uh, no no no. Uh, get out of here, bro. Okay. Uh, I need to resolve the situation. I need to resolve the situation. Boom. Okay, and then I need to I need to resolve the situation. Okay, I'll I'll be back, guys, here in a minute. Okay, we're back. So, <laughs> the Wither Skeleton beheading is broken. I'm going to tell you guys that right now because I just spent two hours killing Withers and with this beheading sword and it didn't work. I didn't actually start getting Wither Skeleton Skulls and still, until I started using my normal sword. And my normal sword got beheading from a level up, so I don't know if that changed anything. So, I don't know if this is an intended feature, like where you're supposed to get Wither Skeleton Skulls just like vanilla and beheading isn't supposed to work or what. What? Because it took a while, but I, yeah, beheading is currently severely broken. Anyways, I wanted to make, I wanted to make some cool stuff here. I want to make some jeweled apples, and we're gonna make a bunch of things before we fight the wither. And by a bunch of things, I just mean uh, ten red heart canisters because uh, it's gonna really help us out. So if you look at our hearts right now, we have ten red hearts. Now watch this. As soon as I equip these guys, we're gonna get more hearts. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully, what? yeah, there we go. Look, we got a yellow heart, so we're about to have 10 more hearts, and all of our hearts will be yellow, so we have a total of 20 hearts, which is freaking amazing. That's awesome. So I also got a bunch of common treasures and uncommon treasure, and I decided I wanted to level up my sword, so I went until I got my sword to master, and I got this guy to a custom, and we ended up getting a total of seven wither skulls. I wanted to fight maybe like three of them, but I guess two of them will have to do. Uh, so let's just go ahead. I'm gonna head. Uh, oh, hey, there's that guy. Uh, I'm gonna do an enchantment actually. I'm level 43. In case we die and lose all of our stuff, which I, I severely doubt uh, we're gonna die, but in case we do, I'm going to enchant this guy. Let's see. Boom, and we get protection three. Okay. Well, uh, we already have a protection four. Yeah, we do. So we don't actually need this. Uh, I wish you could just like eat it and get all the enchantments back. Uh, you know, I'll keep it. Maybe someone else on the server wants it. Um, yeah, so let's go fight the wither. It's gonna be freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, so I, as you see, I have full hearts or whatever, but I put all my stuff in my knapsack and then also my ender pouch because I don't want to lose anything. Now, I'm not sure. I guess you would lose all your stuff from your knapsack. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's go ahead and fight the wither and then my, my crossbow is going to be the biggest damage dealer here in a second. Uh, let's, uh, let's come all the way down here so we don't get any of the splash damage and then hopefully I'm pretty sure we're going to wreck. The wither. I don't need potions. I don't need nothing. I think this is going to be good. So if we do a little bit of that. Eh. There we go. And then. Okay. So now it does nothing. So let's go and come in here. Let's wreck his face. Oh, he's stuck. I guess. I guess someone's turned. Oh, that kind of sucks. Someone's turned off uh, mob griefing. Which I guess is good for my base. But, you know, like it's not that great for a wither fight. Because he can't even hurt me. So. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I don't I don't own this server. So I didn't change any of the rules or do any of that kind of stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways. Uh, let's kill this guy. Boom. And then this guy does a lot of damage. Yeah, this is easy. Also, apparently. Uh, apparently, Advent of Ascension. Oh, we got a yellow heart. Yes, we can. Oh, if we get a bunch of these. 
Oh, if we get a bunch of these, ah, but that means we're fighting withers. We can go ahead and get 30 hearts. We'll get green hearts, I think. Yeah, that would be sick. So, yeah, if we use this, it requires 10 red heart cancers. So, I would need to get 10 more red hearts. I would need to get 10 yellow hearts and then golden apples. So, yeah, that would... Oh my god, it's Notch Apples too. Yeah, I don't. I have like zero gold right now. Anyways, yeah, that's a future plan. Um, we have the Nether Stars, so we can make the beacon and stuff now. So yeah. Okay, so let's make the beacon here. Boom, we got a beacon. Awesome. And then let's go ahead and make the Mana Pylons. I forget, or the Elementium Pylons. There we go. Or Gaia Pylons. That's what they're called. I knew they were called something. I would get it right eventually and then i have a little area set up in the base i don't think yeah he doesn't destroy the guy boss doesn't destroy anything uh so that's pretty good the last thing i guess we could really make is a region potion uh now i let me let me grab some glass real quick and then i don't think i have any yeah do i have any glass bottles no i don't um actually i have glass in here so we can go ahead and make a thing let's see alf glass and then mana glass yeah let's just go ahead and make uh I don't know, a bunch of these guys? Let's see, one, two, one, two, one, two. And we get, you know, six of these guys. Wait, why are you? Okay, there we go. We got six of them. Uh, now, I could make a regen and a strength potion. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me get all that stuff prepared. Okay, so botanical brewing is really simple. Um, it's like normal brewing, but actually I think it's a little bit easier. So we just stick a thing right there and then uh, whatever we want to make the potion. So a strength and regen potion both require a nether wart and piece of glowstone. Except for this, uh, the regen requires a gas tier and then the strength requires a blaze powder. So this guy is going to start doing his thing and they take a while. They're kind of slow, especially these, uh, these big guys. And they're going to make this guy, the flask of uh, vigor and then the flask of, I think it's... Regeneration, they have six uses, and it'll be Regen 2 and Strength 2, and then Strength will last for a minute 30, and Regen will last for a certain amount of time, I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, that's the, yeah, this is, uh, it's pretty easy, then it just pops off when it's done. Okay, so we have the Strength, get off, wait, what do you, get off of there, so we have the Regen potion, okay, so the Regen 2 lasts for 25 seconds, so it's not that great, but it will help keep us alive. Let's go ahead and make the strength potion. There we go. And then this guy should start up automatically. I think it does. Yeah, it does. Awesome. Okay, so I have a little thing up here at the top of our base kind of set out. Um, so let's go ahead and stick the beacon in the middle. And then these guys are spaced out one, two, three. And then it goes one, two, three, four. And it's up two. And then on the third one right there. So yeah, that's where these guys are. And uh, this is everything you need. You just need a little beacon thing and four of these guys. So that means pre-requirements is you need a portal to alfheim and enough mana to make a terra steel because what we got to do next is actually sacrifice a terra steel um to this beacon and it'll summon the gaia boss now the gaia boss is really hard especially i've al i've always fought him when i've been way over equipped so yeah i'm not exactly sure what to expect out of this or how easy this is going to be this is probably going to be really really hard so uh let's go ahead and do it eh. oh there we go. So Gaia boss and you guys are about to hear epic music. Yeah. Okay, so I don't know. Is this guy all ready to go? Okay, yeah, this guy's ready to go. Also, I added some uh, sharpness to this guy. I added one level, so I have 35 attack damage. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where's oh, there he is. There he is. So we have to do a bunch of damage to him, and then he's going to go through phases of summoning monsters and waves of monsters at us. So, well, whoa, buddy. Um, <laughs> hopefully, let me, let me go and eat the strength, and we'll only use the regen if we absolutely need it. Uh, where, where'd he go? Is he, like, down a floor or something? Let's go down a floor, see if he's, is, are you down here, man? No, no, you're not down here. Okay. Oh, there he is. Come here. Whoa. What are you doing? Okay, come here, come here. Uh, whoa, dude. Oh, my God. So, he's a, he's a little feisty one, isn't he? So, I'm gonna use my crossbow, I guess. Uh, <laughs> dude, dude. Eh. What? Oh, really? 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 Okay, yeah, now he's going to start summoning uh, monsters. Now, this isn't a kill as many monsters as... Well, it is, but it's a time thing. It doesn't matter how many of these actual monsters you kill. Oh, unless he's actually not going to do that. Is he not going to do that? Is he up on the roof right here? Oh, he's right there. There we go. Let's do some more damage to him. Let's do some more damage to him. Get out of here, bro. Oh, wait, maybe the normal guy doesn't actually summon monsters. Maybe he doesn't summon monsters. Hey, get out of here. Oh, yeah, maybe he doesn't summon monsters. Okay, well, this is... The, whoa, I need to I need to drink some 
summon this guy. Oh, yeah, he does summon monsters. Okay, so it's only one wave. I think the guy of Spirit 2 summons two waves of monsters. Uh, let's see, where's this guy? Yeah, you guys are going downtown, son. Uh, oh, man. Ugh. <laughs> There he is. So, oh, he's so close to death. He's so close to death. Where, where'd you go, man? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Uh, uh, <laughs> where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, get out of here. Well, yes, yes, yes. I have beat the Gaia boss. Yes, awesome. So we can do all kinds of stuff with this. We can actually make give ourselves the ability to fly with this. But I don't think I want to do that just yet. Yeah, I don't want to do that just yet. I do not, do not want the ability to fly because I think it's kind of cheaty. I feel like the only place I really want to use that is maybe in Haven. Uh, so yeah, let, let me let me get some stuff together and we will just start using this uh, Gaia Spear stuff uh, and to good use. Okay, so the first thing I want to make is a Pyroclast Pendant. Now this guy just puts out fires. If you get caught on fire, it'll just put you out. So it's not super useful. I mean, it's kind of useful. But it's not super useful. Now, we want to upgrade this to the Big Daddy, which requires Nether Bricks, a Gaia Spirit, and five Blaze Rods. Do I? I don't have five Blaze Rods, do I? Um, <laughs> dang it. Why am I never prepared for stuff? Let's go ahead and grab the next... Really? Really? We don't have another Blaze Rod. Holy crap balls. You know what? Fine. 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 I'm going to... I'm going to kill... There we go. Give me my Blaze Rod. Give me my stinking Blaze Rod. Okay. So we're good. We got five blaze rods. Now we need two nether brick. I should for sure have two nether bricks. So let's go ahead and upgrade this to the big daddy. I think it's just like this. Boom. Do a little bit of this action and a little, a little bit of this action. Boom. Crimson pendant. Now this guy makes us completely immune to lava and fire. So we can jump in lava in the nether and we would be completely immune to it. Unfortunately, Badani doesn't have a way, I think, to be immune to poison or or wither or those would be really useful too but that might be a little too op that'd be like magical crops like ultimate pendant op anyways next thing i want to make is this guy we want to make the globe trotter sash so this is normal speed right here this is normal speed uh then we stick this guy on and then this is normal speed this is just walking this is running so yeah it's pretty fast but just wait until we upgrade this guy. So we want a little bit of this action and a little bit of this action. We get the globe trotter sash. Now look at this. Let me equip it. Now this is walking. Th this is walking. Now this is running. Yeah, it's 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 a lot faster. And it's going to help us move around and do all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah, it's really, really useful. That's pretty much the two things that I wanted to make. Now, if you guys know of any other super useful stuff in Britannia, make sure to comment down below. Like this Charm of the Diva, uh, Golden Laurel uh, Crown, and then just all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm going to look up some stuff in Britannia, and I will be right back. Okay, guys. So, to end the episode, we're going to enchant another book. So, I this episode has taken me far. Ooh, Luck and C2. Nice. We can put that on a fishing rod. Uh, this episode has taken me far longer than I thought it would, mostly because of the withers. Uh, I spent several hours on the withers. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I'm sorry if the episode's a little bit short, but hopefully you guys understand. If you guys have any advice or comments or any of that kind of stuff, tell me down below. I love y'all's faces, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, make sure to click the like button. I'd appreciate it.